take just a few minutes since I've had my Blackstone Pro Series 36 inch griddle for a little over a month. I want to take just a minute, step back and say, hey, what do I like about this thing? What do I not like about this thing? And could I recommend to anybody else that they own a, a Blackstone griddle? So I want to take just a few minutes to go over all of the features and functions of this unit and how it's performed for me over the last month. Currently, I probably have close to 25 cooks on this. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and even one dessert with the s'mores. I'll leave a link to that video if you like. I'll also leave a link to the assembly video for this as well as the seasoning video. Now, the seasoning on this has worked wonderfully. I've had no issues with the seasoning on this griddle at all. I do make sure that I take care of it. So after every single cook, I go in and eat. I let this go ahead and sit. I then scrape everything off, wipe off all of the extra. I put a little bit of water down and steam clean. If it needs a little extra scrubbing, I get one of the Blackstone orange scrub brushes and scrub it down a little more. Once it's all good and clean to my satisfaction, I put a light coat of oil, turn it off and put it away. And I do use my Blackstone cover every single day. I make sure that that cover is on it so that it's protected from the elements. I wanna make sure to keep this. It's a sizable investment. Uh, right at $500. <clears throat> I'd like to keep this run for a few years and use it as much as I possibly can. So the maintenance I think is a big key with the grill, my Weber Genesis 2. I kick it on, I cook, I turn it off when I'm done, close the lid, let it cool down, put the cover on it. There's no extra scraping and cleaning and everything else. Before my next cook, I kick it on high, let everything burn off, scrub down the bristles, oil them down a little bit, and go to the next meal. So it's a meal preparation. So it's a little, a little bit more maintenance at the end of the cook than with a traditional propane or gas grill. But all in all, it's it's pretty simple. It really it doesn't take very much time at all to go through and clean this and get it ready to go. I've been very pleased with the way this operates. As far as the surface itself and how I cook on the surface. I absolutely love it. It's nice having the space to be able to put everything in its own area. I can control with four burners the temperature that I need and how I need the temperature. It really works great. I've had no issues. I haven't burned anything. The biggest challenge for me as a new owner of a Blackstone griddle is wanting to flip things too often. It's, it's what we do. That's how we make sure we don't burn things is we turn it in a pan or we flip it on the grill. But with a griddle top, you've got a smoother area of surface and not quite as high of a temperature and you're not scorching anything. It's not intense heat in any spot. So you let it sit there a little bit longer than you normally would to get good color, to get crispness, whatever you're looking for out of the, the product that you're cooking. And I usually let it sit just a little bit longer. When I'm ready to flip, I hold myself back now and I wait just another little bit of time, depending on what it is and then give it a little flip and the color on this, the sear you get on meat, the crispness you get, the crispness you get on potatoes, the way it cooks eggs. Every egg I've cooked on here, I've cooked scrambled eggs with cheese, omelets, fried eggs, fantastic. Uh, very simple. And it really is a good uh, non-stick surface. Very slick, works very well. I cooked an omelet on here, my ham and cheese omelet video. I meant to butter the surface before I put the eggs on. Completely forgot. Put the eggs down on top of the ham. It released perfectly, no problems whatsoever. So it definitely performs from a non-slick, uh, non uh, non-stick surface. Uh, good heat distribution. Works wonderfully. The rear grease system. I've had no trouble with that whatsoever. I have the container inside right now, actually, in the dishwasher. I buy the uh, disposable bins that I can put inside of it. 
and it captures everything pretty well. There is a little bit of splatter on the back of my, uh, my lid here from where I'm pushing stuff out and it goes beyond if I'm getting a little aggressive on my cleaning trying to hurry. But other than that, that's user error. That's not an error of the system. And I do believe from what I've seen that that is a, a huge improvement compared to the front restrap system that used to come off of up here. I don't have any grease around my grill anywhere that's not supposed to or I didn't, didn't use your air. So, please with the rear grease management system. The shelves, these are probably my only disadvantage on this unit. The shelves are nice, it's nice to have shelves. It's not very big and there's a lot of heat in this area right here. So, when you're cooking something, I try to keep everything lined out as far to the outside as I can get it because even with this little uh, stop to keep things from coming up against the side of your grill top, it gets very hot here and that heat radiates a long ways. Even my oil and water bottles, I've got to be very careful. My oil bottle, I've gotten too close a few times and it's gotten soft to the touch because it was so hot and that oil was very hot, I could barely hold it. I always keep it towards the outside of that shelf rather than the inside. I am going to buy me a little table, even if it's a temporary plastic table, something that I can sit behind me or beside me to spread out a little better with my, my food, my plates, and everything else. Because it's so fast, you gotta have everything close, and it's usually more than what you're doing with a natural gas or propane grill. It just seems like you've got more things to handle because you can put more things on the griddle. The more adventurous you get, the more ingredients you have, the more space you're going to need. These Blackstone spray bottles have worked really, really well. I like these a lot. I use one for water, one for my canola oil, and I have another one in the house that if I want to put a different type of oil or something like that in, I can't have it needed yet. I've just used canola oil, except for a few times I've brought out some uh, avocado oil. Uh, the drawers, fantastic. Wonderful slides. Keeps everything I need right inside, no problem whatsoever. Uh, no complaints. I usually take my paper towels off of the paper towel holder when I'm done and put it in the drawer. As you can see, I didn't do that last night. I ended up picking it up about an hour later. It was strung out all over the yard and had to roll it back up. But uh, put it in here. You can keep all your tools in there. I keep my oil bottle and my water bottle down here. I keep a lot of my lids underneath this section. I'll put a little clip in here if I remember. Uh, you have to keep in mind that the doors uh, cover the front well, but the back is open. So if you have high winds and stuff like that, as we do here in Oklahoma, and you're mowing the grass, you're gonna get grass clippings and stuff inside of there. So you have to make sure to keep things clean. So when I wanna use one of these lids, rather than cluttering everything up in the house, I keep them under here. So I take it back in and I wash it off before I bring it out and use it on my food. So that's something to keep in mind. The only drawback on them other than that, they function great, high quality, still waiting for my replacements from Blackstone Warranty. Hopefully they'll come soon. The magnetic holder for utensils works great. I've used that so much, especially with my flat, uh, my, my spatulas. They have such a, a big purchase of metal. It goes right against that magnet, holds them there wonderfully, no problem whatsoever. And then on each end of these uh, shelves, there are four utensil holders that hook right on. And they work absolutely great. It allows me to keep my scraper, my tongs, a couple of spatulas, anything I need while I'm cooking. I've got a place to put it where it's out of my way, but it's there when I need it. Usually once I've used it, I find myself leaving it on the grill top. There's a good and a bad to that. The good, it's right here when I need it. It's also hot and it's lubricated. It works pretty well. Leave it too long though and it will start to season. I've had to scrape off some seasoning from my spatulas because it was starting to build up, especially around the edges. The lid works wonderfully. I've only used the lid so far though for storage. When I'm ready to cook and I go to fire it up, I lift the lid, I cook, I clean, and then I close the lid. So it's more 
of a storage device than anything. I don't use it to cook. I think it's got so much open in the back, it's not going to do as much as putting a dome or a lid over top of your food. So I don't use it as a, a cooking hood, so to speak. I use it as a storage device more than anything. The burners themselves, the burners work great. If you watch my um, assembly video and the seasoning video, I was a little timid whenever I went to start this initially. So I went one at a time holding down the igniter now. I put all of them on the ignite. Hit the button first time every time. All four burners are lit. I'll show you a little video of what that looks like on the underneath side, that beautiful blue flame coming out. And since nothing's dripping down on top of those burners, they're crystal clean, they look brand new. Everything's going very well. Not disappointed at all with the heating system. A great amount of heat coming off of it. You can already start to feel it warming this, this top up. It works well, very well. The knobs are fantastic. They've got good uh, surface on it so you can grab them easy. Everything functions and flows exactly the way you'd expect with the grill top. I've also been very happy with the natural gas conversion that I did. Uh, all of the burners work great. Like I say, like I said, beautiful blue flame, no problems with the natural gas conversion. Hooks up easily every single time without fail, no problems. All in all, would I do it again? Would I go spend another 500 bucks, Dr. J? Doctor of Business Administration. Knowing what you know about finance, now if you watched my lunch pack video, you know I'll spend $6 on a soda. Don't worry about that. On this type of a purchase, would I do this again? If I enjoyed it enough that I would go back to Walmart, I'd spend the money on this griddle again. And the answer is hands down yes. I've only used my propane gas grill, or my, sorry, my natural gas grill one time since I bought this. Every other time, I want to find out what the next thing I can do on this griddle top is. I've had so much fun cooking on it. It does get hot, no hotter than the grill does. It doesn't get smoky like your grill does. With the grill, every time I lift that lid, and I use the lid every time to, to keep the smoke around the food, every time I lift that lid, smoke's in your face. Anytime the drippings come down, smoke's in your face. You're going to get that here. You get heat. It does get hot, and it gets hot all the way around. You'll see it at the end of a lot of my videos. My face is a little redder than it is when I start. But you don't get that smoke. You don't get any flare-ups. You get even distribution of heat. You can turn down one side, turn up the other, and cook two different temperature foods at the same time. You can spread things out more than you can on a, on a gas grill. I've enjoyed this more than I have my gas grill, and I've cooked hundreds of cooks on that gas grill in the last three years and this has really impressed me I'm, I'm i would absolutely hands down go buy another one i hope this was helpful to let you know from a, a current owner what it's like with the 36 inch professional series black stone grill station hopefully this uh helps you in your decision if you're looking to purchase one and uh, let me know if I missed anything down in the comments that might help other viewers as they're looking to purchase on their decision. If there's something that you've noticed that I haven't or that you would add in addition to the comments that I've made. I thank you for joining me. Hit the, the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Make sure and hit the subscribe button. I'll be putting more videos out soon. I'll probably do another review in six months or a year, somewhere around like that. Once I've really got to, to know and learn my griddle top. There's a little bit of a learning curve. You have to, uh, you have to do things uh, just a little bit different, but it's honestly towards the easier side. And uh, very much enjoyed it. You all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you very soon.